Only on WCNC this evening for the first time we are learning exactly what investigators say happened in the moments before Mount Holly police officer Tyler Herndon was shot and killed. The man accused of murdering officer Herndon Joshua A. Funk or Joshua Funk remains in jail on first degree murder. WCNC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner in Mount Holly tonight after spending hours pouring through court documents and interviewing new witnesses. People here tell me they still think about that night. Officer Tyler Herndon was shot and killed. One woman here says what she saw was traumatizing. Friday, December 11th, around 3.30 in the morning, Mount Holly police arrive at this car wash and arcade after a reported breaking and entering. Newly unsealed search warrants say someone watching the arcade surveillance system saw a man standing by the door smoking cigarettes. Officers say as they pulled up, they say they saw Joshua Funk walking out the front door. Search warrants say officers ordered Funk to stop, but he started running to the back of the car wash with officers close behind. Investigators say Funk then pulled out a six hour nine millimeter handgun and shot officer Tyler Herndon. Other officers there returned fire. And from the, the wooded area there. Jason Self's apartment overlooks the car wash. He went outside to see what happened. I see a person and he's, he's kind of hunched in the back. And the first thing I hear is hands up. And they say hands up again. And he kind of, he starts to move. I thought we were about to get more gunfire. There ended up being no more gunfire. Funk was shot in the leg. We saw the officers come in from the right side. and Chris Daywalt watched from his back door as officers picked up Funk and took him away. It was something, I mean, it seemed like a scene out of a movie, to be honest with you. Never experienced anything like that in my life. Officer Herndon was pronounced dead at Caramont. Search warrants say detectives found Funk's car about 300 to 400 yards away at this dead end road. Court documents say in an interview with detectives, Funk's girlfriend says over the past several months, his behavior was changing and he was becoming noticeably on edge. Among the items, investigators say they seized in Funk's car and at his house, ammunition, multiple shell casings, and a Marine Corps ring and certificate. According to military records Funk served in the Marine Corps for less than a year. Funk is scheduled to be back in court February 4th in Mount Holly, Brandon Goldner, WCNC Charlotte.